All right, welcome to What They Won't Tell You with Sherry Anshara, The Quantum Truth. So today is an interesting interesting topic on our agenda, and it's duality programs. So, Sherry, what are duality programs, and how are they applied today? (gasps) Duality programs are all the programs throughout the continuum on this planet Hmm. that is dualistic, right or wrong, good or bad, black and white. Hmm. Everything is black and white. Have you ever been to a forest? Look at all the colors. Look at all the plethora of colors on this planet. But in duality, everything has to be black and white. It's my way or the highway. Right, one or the other. One or the other. And there's no flexibility. Mm. It's very rigid. And in duality, you have to follow the rules. Well, who made the rules of the controllers? So in duality, we just keep repeating the same thing over and over and over again. And duality, this is not male bashing. It's left brain, male based. It's war. We've Mm. got to be at war. And you know what? If there's not a war going on, but there's always a war going on in this planet. It doesn't matter what part of the world it is. It doesn't matter what the belief system. But you know what? My God is better than your God. Right. Secular religion. Yes. And we will... You know, and the winner is God's on their side. Right. But you know what? Throughout the continuum on this planet, the winner becomes Hmm. the loser. Interesting. (gasps) Why why is that? Because that's duality. Hmm. So if you win, you have to lose. You Uh. cannot sustain the resonance of winning. Everybody has to lose Hmm. and everyone has to be a leader. But what happens when the leaders get disposed of? Right. Which happens all the time in history. You go back and people are overthrowing everybody and constantly. So Yeah, and overthrowing is like throwing up over and over. And duality is this. So I'm going to throw this out to you. I actually have a new book in the works Mm -hmm. called Busting Out of the Matrix. And duality is a matrix. And the book is called, and it's going to show you how to do it. So Mm -hmm. this is duality, right and wrong, good or bad, my way or the highway. Yuck, 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 yuck. But now let's look at the time. You know what? That hourglass is the same. No one's going to tell you this quantum truth. So let's take that hourglass, you know, of do it again, do it again. And what hour is it? The hour. Oh, no. And then guess what happens? You take that hourglass and let's extend that symbology, symbols. Mm, And so in the symbol in the orchestra goes, bang, and put your head between it. You can't hear a darn thing, let alone see. And you're going, that's duality, hitting the head with the symbols. And so because we've been taught to hear in duality, not Hmm. to listen. So the quantum truth is when you start listening, your truth hits the place within you. So now let's take that hourglass and take it down three times into what we call third dimension. And then- Three times, one, two, and third dimension. And now let's twist it. Right. It's the DNA. Uh, the DNA is duality. And I've got a book coming out called Busting Out of the Matrix hmm. so that you can become that real human who you really are without all that programming of that dualistic BS. So, uh, and anybody, I've heard you say this before. You're like, I don't have DNA, right? You, you say, you don't. yeah, you don't have DNA. So um, is that something that you've, removed is DNA or is it something that is already ingrained in you? No. Okay. This is interesting. 19 years ago, actually 19 years ago this year, I went to a conference. I was really invited for quantum physicists, but Mm -hmm. I was the outer circle, but that's okay. And so I was talking to this one young physicist and I said, hmm, I've got this idea, but I said, you know, let me cogitate. So about a couple of weeks later, I emailed him and I said, in my idea, that if you get conscious, you do not require the DNA. And if it's full of junk, why would we have junk in our trunk? Mm. (laughs) And so he emailed me back, uh, I mean, almost like instantaneously, I kid you not. And he said, I'm at a conference for international quantum physicists. That's 19 years ago. And he said, a Russian physicist got up to our group 
and propose the same thing, mm. that you really don't have to have DNA because that is not your consciousness. That is how you are controlled. And, oh. and oh, and who, okay. want, who would like to have junk in their trunk? And so mm. the more conscious you become, you can get rid of that because that DNA is based on duality. Right. And, you, and as you said, it's three times and twisted, right? So that is that the third dimension of what we're in right yes. now? And that's why it's three times? Because yes. we're the third dimension. So once you start peeling away and become multidimensional beings like we're talking about, yeah. is you kind of peel away what they want us to be. Exactly. And mm. you can be who you choose to be, right. not who they decide right. for you. A decision is made for you at your ion decided, but when you're power, you make choices. And so the interesting part about all of this, as you become more multidimensional, you can't be controlled mm. because you are becoming that real human. You know, Zachariah Sitchin talked about it, you know, how we were manipulated in a Petri dish. Right. Yeah. And he did. He talked mm -hmm. about it. Well, that's the truth. It's time to get out of the Petri dish because we don't know who we were in but you really do in that cellular memory of being a real human before the interference. So so you mentioned a really good point and you brought this up before in our conversations, but you made in a petri dish. Were we were we created? Are we really from this planet? Are we really is that a oh, just God, this a is farce. this is just perfect. You know, people will say, you know, I'm from the Pleiades or I'm from Cirrus or whatever. Right. Do you know it's no different than when people uh, migrated or immigrated, whichever word you, from hmm. the Europe over here or wherever, and they'll say, hmm, I'm an Italian American, you know, yeah, right. or I'm an African American, right. or I'm a Jewish American. Right. Well, what the heck? You know, so mm -hmm. we are all intermixed. Yes. Even from, and they'll say, well, I'm a star seed. Yeah, it's called sperm, honey. <laughs> <laughs> that, no. And it got mixed up. I am the real person because this is for you to become a real human being now. So like me being a blue person, and we go over this in our, some of our other podcasts and vlogs. So, and I'm human. Am I a blue person, human, uh, half breed, if you will? No, there's no. And, and by the way, let's get rid of those hybrids. There's What's no. What I mean? Such, I remember you yeah, saying. Yeah, there's no such thing as a hybrid. A we, can be a ha we can be a half breed, whatever. Right. But be your own breed. Right. Breed your own self within your own body, mm. and that is why teaching the truth. You don't have to believe me. Believe yourself. Right. And when it resonates. That's what happens hmm. because duality is black and white, this or that, my way or the highway. No, that's confining you and restricting you into those duality boxes or those double strands of DNA. And there's more children that are being born, especially since 2002, the new kids on the block mm. and the second wave came in. And I noticed that they have more strands of DNA because once you come to a capacity, and that's what I teach, is you get 12 strands with a connector. Guess what? You become multidimensional. How long does it take? How short would you like it to take? It's not how long. <laughs> so so anybody in, they, we get confused by good versus evil, right? So anybody in a dark place, and, and this is, I had to really think about this because a friend brought this up, is that uh, he's like, well, a lot of times in the dark or the bad, you find good in the light. So yes. technically dark, dark is it can't not necessarily bad that way. No, look out into the night sky. Right. Look at all it's the still beauty. beautiful. It's gorgeous. Do you know that there's so much life teeming in the dark matter? Mm -hmm. So what is the matter? The matter is the duality. Yeah, we've taught we've been taught dark equals bad, light equals good, and yeah. all this type of stuff with the programming that you're talking about and totally. how it resonate the resonance of it all yes. so you're telling us to break out of that because it's not black and white it is not black and white and if you look in some of the religions without wronging them the the teachers they all were black right. <laughs> are they bad so it's it's breaking through and that's why i love teaching what i've been teaching oh my god for over 30 years or longer than that so you have that truth inside of you, you are the quantum field. So when someone says, well, I'm going to the fifth dimension or the sixth dimension, the fifth dimension actually was a group in the 80s, mm -hmm. but all the dimensions are inside of you. It's how you resonate. And the more you resonate, all of the dimensions become part of you. And that is the truth.
All right. Thank you guys for joining us today. This is What They Won't Tell You with Sherry Ansara. See you next time.